So what are some of the key measurement challenges advertisers are facing today? For sure, so we're seeing that data is now becoming more sparse and fragmented, uh, which is leaving gaps in traditional attribution like last click and even multi-touch attribution. And we see really two key trends driving this shift. First is that the customer journey is now spread across multiple devices, channels, and platforms. And consumers making a purchase decision is no longer that linear path. And long gone are the days where majority of consumers um, you know, see an ad, click on that ad, and that very experience is what drove the consumer to purchase later that day. So that's really a key change you want to capitalize and, and, and uh, articulate. And second is, uh, as an industry, we've seen shifts around data privacy. There's no um, surprise here. But the impact now is we have less identifiers to stitch across the user journey and across sessions and browsers to understand value. Um, and, and I think that, that these two combined are increasingly creating challenges for advertisers for accurate measurement. The good news is incrementality measurement helps overcome those challenges and experimentation will remain critical in ensuring accurate measurement. Tell me about TikTok's conversion studies and how is it helping advertisers? Conversion lift studies measure sales that would not have occurred without a TikTok ad exposure. It leverages what we call the gold standard and measurement, which is incrementality through experimentation to identify that relationship between that ad exposure and eventual consumer behavior. And this methodology leverages a randomized control trial method, which is similar to methods in scientific research, to provide the most accurate assessment of advertising impact, causality. And we have tested conversion lift now with over 1,400 global advertisers during beta testing. And we've seen that advertisers of all sizes, from household names like KFC to emerging brands, see success with conversion lift and identifying how much TikTok really contributes to business growth. So for example, we have one leading fashion retailer who conducted a conversion lift to uncover that TikTok drives 2.4 times more sales than last click attribution shows. They realized TikTok was undervalued, underinvested, and increased their spend, leading to a 33% increase in that business's total marketing ROI. And so ultimately, you know what we see is advertisers who spend on TikTok but make decisions based on last click are leaving a lot of money on the table and we're excited to offer a solution that closes this gap at scale. So let's talk about privacy concerns. Uh, talk about uh, TikTok's PET solutions. So as I, I mentioned you know, just a little while ago, as an industry we've been continuing to see shifts in data privacy and user consent over the past few years, both on the regulatory and the platform side. And in tandem, there's also increase in demand from advertisers for measurement solutions that are accurate while still providing protection for user data. And so we are excited to develop new and innovative solutions that do exactly that because advertisers want to understand whether their campaigns are effective no matter if they choose to share data with platforms or not. As a part of our strategy then, we're excited to announce our investment in privacy enhancing technologies, or PETs for short. And we're doing so by expanding options for advertisers to measure conversion lift, but through PETs. This uh, ensures the most rigorous data controls and processing techniques to compute lift results using the same rigorous methodology as TikTok's conversion lift, uh, but protects user data without users, without TikTok receiving any of that data directly. Uh, so this is something we're incredibly excited to announce in closed beta as of this week. Uh, and we're in closed beta testing with three service providers. Uh, one service provider, which is Animan, uh, who was recently acquired by Mozilla earlier this year. And they leverage a technology called Trusted Execution Environment, TEE, and differential privacy uh, to offer these services and guarantee data protection. So what are you excited about in the year ahead? What's coming up for TikTok? We have a busy year ahead, as you can imagine. We have holidays, and as a part of that, as we look at our product roadmap, we have new products and features that we're going to bring to market to enable advertisers to understand TikTok value, uh, evaluate insights around their customer journey through our attribution analytics tools, and ultimately help marketers make 
good decisions. So advertisers are, you know, getting more value for their dollar. Uh, and as a part of this, you know, broader strategy innovation, we're always looking to improve uh, the accuracy of measurement and the tools that matter to advertisers. So we're meeting advertisers where they are. So for instance, earlier this week at the Ad Week TikTok measurement launch, uh, we announced our advanced integration with Northbeam. Uh, this is a view-based integration for Northbeam customers that provides a more accurate assessment of TikTok value with view-based attribution. And this is a critical unlock ahead of the holiday season. And then additionally, uh, we're also investing in more uh, self-serve experimentation tools. And so later this year, we're gonna begin testing uh, a new experiment hub that consolidates our A-B testing tools and our Lyft tools in one interface so that advertisers can have direct access to these tools at scale.